Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> um, I had a couple questions um, related to the Battle.net videos that I've done. And um, I was asked um, whether or not Diablo 3 will run on Linux. So um, since I have a copy of Diablo 3, which you need this, you won't be able to run it without it. So you, you have to have Diablo 3 your paid for disk in your uh, DVD drive of your computer. If you were on Windows or Mac, I think you could just enter your code. Um, but I haven't been able to get Diablo 3 to run without that DVD drive in the computer. But needless to say, in Linux, <clears throat> um, I have been successful getting Di uh, Diablo 3 running in Ubuntu 16.10. I have not been successful in Debian yet. I'm still working on it, but this process or this procedure that I'm going to go through with you does work in um, Ubuntu 16.10. Now keep in mind, this, these procedures change because as new versions of Wine, as new ver versions of Wine staging, Wine tricks, as Battle.net makes modifications, uh, sometimes these Linux procedures change. And so, when you're, if you're looking at my videos, make sure you're looking at the more recent ones because I have a few uh, going back. The procedure has changed. I think th I've done three videos. Each time it was a slightly different procedure. For this procedure, uh, you'll follow the, uh, the uh, video, the Battle.net uh, Hearthstone video that I did recently um, showing you how to install it in Arch and Ubuntu 16.10 um, and I, at that point I already I also had it working in Debian testing um, but so far I haven't gotten Diablo 3 working in Debian testing just in Ubuntu and now I'm going to try it in Arch the procedure is exactly the same uh, once you have the disk in your machine you see I have it here it shows up on my uh, desktop as DC D3 C1.0.0 if I double click that you see it's the Diablo 3 Windows executable file um, this the procedure is the same so you need to be done with my last video so you have to have Battle.net installed using wine tricks uh, which is the procedure that I did recently for 16.10, Debian testing, and Arch. So you, you, you need to have that already set up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Wine Config. So you'll need to open up a terminal, type in Wine Config, Wine CFG. It's going to bring up your Wine configuration. Then you're going to go to Libraries make sure that you have this library and I'm gonna put it down here so you can see it the only thing that's changed is you need to have this D3D compiler underscore 47 you have to have that in your in your libraries and you see I have it down here at the bottom everything else would be there as a result of the last video but you need to add that in so once you do that then I would reboot your machine make sure you've you've already run the two commands from the last video which is uh, wine tricks core fonts and wine tricks VC run 2015 make sure you've already run that make sure you've got battle.net already on your machine and your disk in the slot in the D in the DVD slot so once you have all that what you're going to do is double click to open up your DVD directory and then double click the Diablo 3 setup it's going to open up the Battle.net agent. Once you see that, you're going to sign in with your 
um, with your password. Now it's going to give you the opportunity to start your installation. You're going to click start install. It's a 16 gigabyte download, so make sure that you have enough space on your drive. And I'm going to double check mine just to make sure. And I have enough space. I've got 64 gig unused on this particular petition. So I'm going to go ahead and start the install. Now I'm going to pause the video until this is done and then I'll come back and we'll take it from from the next step. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, welcome back. <clears throat> now the download has finished <clears throat> and as you can see the uh, Blizzard menu says that uh, Diablo is ready to play. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on play and see if we get a launch screen. Now as you can see it says playing now the game is running and now we have Diablo going through the uh, installation screen <clears throat> and it appears that Diablo is working so I am going to hit escape and as you can see the game is uh, ready to run I'm gonna click on resume game I had a character already set up and this should load okay so now the game is working. I'm going to get out of the game. Exit. <clears throat> and as you can see, uh, Diablo 3 does work within Linux. If you follow the steps that I have outlined, uh, you'll have to watch the video, uh, the prior video. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. And then um, go through the process that I have detailed uh, in this video and you should be able to play Diablo you will need to have the disk that you purchased in your CD drive or if you if you purchased it through digital download from Blizzard you'll have to have that file um, that will need to be accessed by the Blizzard software the Battle.net software so that is it for this video, guys, uh, playing Diablo within Linux. If you have any questions, put them in the show notes. And thank you for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.